Hello everyone, it's Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo and welcome to another Star Citizen My Two Cents video. Today, I'm going to start off with a statement that's going to feel like I am not the queen of the enablers anymore. It's going to be, do not overbuy if you're brand new into Star Citizen. Before you buy anything, watch this video because it's going to help you make a decision of the ship that you might want to buy. And I'm not going to show you what ship to buy. What I'm going to show you is why you don't have to spend a lot of money if other people are saying, don't get this ship, get that ship. So what I've done is I've just jumped into Hurston. Every day that you log in for the first time and jump into Hurston, these four missions will appear under personal and right there under delivery. Those four will give you 15,388 UEC each. I call this the 90K box run, and this is by no means anything that I came up with. This is something that has probably been talked about to people shown in videos before, and I want to bring it to my community today. And I want to put it into a little bit better context. Most people are like, hey, you can get that ship upgraded. You can make UEC. And what I'm doing, because we're about ready to have Invictus week, we're about ready to have ship sales, and we're about ready to have brand new people that are going to jump into the game and start wondering, which ship should I buy? And here is what I'm telling you. Because these box runs are going to help you ease the pain of not getting the exact ship that you want when you first buy your starter ship. So, my thinking is this. People are going to be walking around the Invictus show. You're going to see these amazing ships. F7s, F8s, Sabres, Gladiuses, Avengers. You're going to see Freelancers. You're going to see Hawks. You're going to see Arrows. You're going to see... You, you can be overwhelmed. And if it's your first time in Star Citizen, you might fall in love with a particular ship for the right reason. You love it. But purchase it for the wrong reason. This is going to help me in the verse. Currently... The only real thing you're going to be doing early in the game is running boxes because it is very profitable, which is I'm trying, which is what I'm trying to show you here. In just an hour and 10 to an hour and 30 minutes, you can make 90k. If you're going to work in the game or play the game for three hours, you can choose to do that twice. I suggest just doing it once and then finding some other fun things to do. But let's say you do do it twice because you're dedicated and you do it twice a day making 180k and you decide that you're going to do that for 10 days. At the end of that 10 days of gameplay, you're able to get a 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6 million dollar ship because I or million credit ship because I believe that you'll be doing other things too. On the other hand, you might spend 115, 125 dollars on a freelancer or on a cutlass, whatever it is. Well, I got some weird news for you. CIG gave you something for free. It's not going to be there forever, but if you're joining the game right now, you're going to have a free ship. So ever since I think it's 3.8 came out, there's been an increase in the number of disconnects that come up with an error message, 30K. Yes, I said it, and if you're listening to this while you're playing the game, I am sorry for jinxing your session. I'm going to spin around three times to assault over my back, and say 30k backwards if I know how to say it. But because of those 30k disconnects, because of losing full cargo holds of whatever, whatever you're carrying. Me, I've been carrying spirits, but there's so much better things to carry than what I do. And you've just lost 60, 100, 200, a million. CIG said, you know what, let's give everybody a free freelancer. So if you're brand new to the game, no matter what starting ship you purchase, you're going to get a freelancer. Okay? It's going to be taken away from you eventually, but if you're starting right now, it's something to look forward to flying in. But even though it's there, I'm going to say, don't use it. 
What I'm going to tell you is going to be buy one of three ships, buy one of five ships, pick the one that you like the best. And up to $65, I think you have a very good selection of ships. There's no reason to go above the Aurora unless you want to. So you go from 45, you go to 60. You have the Pisces and you have the Titan. The Titan is by far the best ship to use. I love it. It's beautiful. It's a very utilitarian ship. It's not as finished as the ship that I'm using right here, which is the Pisces. This is my choice, not because it's the best, because it's my favorite. It's the most refined ship in that category right now. It has a better HUD. It has a better MFD layout. It's using the building blocks UI. So it's great. It's small. It's nimble. It's easy to upgrade. And you're really not going to get into a bunch of fighting right away. For me, what I just chose to do is to do these 90k box runs again. Hurston, you go to Orinth, then you go to the Orphanage, drop off two of the four boxes, pick two more up, one on Lyria over at the Orphanage, and one over on, I believe it's Walla. You take those boxes and you're either going to go one to CRUL4, to Diella and one to Daymar, or any combination that you can think of between Daymar, Yella, Selen, and L4 with those last four boxes. By the time you're done delivering all six boxes, an hour and 10 to an hour 30 minutes, depending on your ship and its speed, you are going to make a total of 92,328 UEC. That's amazing. That's amazing. And you can do it twice if you want, but I'm gonna have another video to show you other ways that you can make money running boxes tomorrow. What I'm trying to get you to understand here, or try to get across, I don't have to make you understand, is that there's more ways to get a ship these days than there were in the past. So when you're out there, at the Invictus Fleet Week, seeing all the candy that you can buy, I want you to think about this. Because it's going to be very easy to tap your wallet and buy a ship. But I want to remove that part of that statement away from you. Buy a ship. And I want you to think of it this way. You're going to be purchasing ships in-game, period. That's the only place you buy a ship. When you spend money, I want you to think of it in a different way. So you have a better understanding and a better feeling about what you're actually doing. You're supporting the game. I support you supporting the game with any pledge that you want. Whether you want to pledge for the $45 Aurora or you want to pledge for the $10,000 completionist set, I am all for whatever you want to do. But if you're being told by somebody you need to buy a certain ship to be good in the verse, I want to break that away from you. I fast forwarded a little bit and I'm showing you one of the things I do. I brought one box into the orphanage and when I get in there and drop it off, I've opened up my Moby Glass to find that one delivery mission that has the box in here and I grab it and I put it into my ship. That way I save time. I have a total of two boxes to put here, then one to pick up at Walla, and then we get all the way out to the Crusader system and drop the rest off. The most time that you're going to spend doing this is honest, honestly, it's going to be finding Orinth. Orinth takes forever. I've done this route so many times, I've tried to find the easiest way to get there. I haven't yet, and if somebody finds an easier way to get there than I have, please tell me. But this takes you an hour and 10 to an hour and 15 minutes. And I have another one that takes a little bit over an hour where you take nine boxes from the Crusader system and go somewhere and make a little bit less money than what I just told you, but it's a lot more fun. And that's tomorrow's video because this one you might think of as tedious. Me, I role play. I have my first job as a star, as a star pilot. I am able to fly a spaceship 
And this is the first time in my life I, I, I get to be the captain, the driver of my own. And yes, it's a delivery van. I'm working for FTL or Kovalex or Red Wing, whoever. But I have a job in the verse, and my job is to deliver these boxes and get them done on time. And I do it every time. So every time I log in for the first time during the day, or every day I log in for the first time, this is what I'm doing. And it's to get that 92,000, I think it was 92,388, whatever it is. It's to get that out of the way. Because if I do that, whatever I make for the rest of the night is gonna be made by having fun. Whether it's going out and doing, let's say, you get with a bunch of friends and you go do some mine claim jumper mission. Maybe you go out and do some bounty hunting. Maybe you have the intestinal fortitude to put up with darkness, getting lost inside of, maybe you're a spelunker, okay? Maybe you like going in caves and potentially getting stuck in an area that you can't get out of. I'm not sure, maybe that's what you wanna do, but there's so many ways for you to have fun in the verse. But you can have a lot of fun doing these missions too. Just get yourself in the right frame of mind. You might even, by chance, get stopped by pirates. And if you've outfitted your ship well enough, like I have, you might be able to take on some of those pirates. I'm in a Pisces. It's not great at anything. It's just my favorite ship because I've made it work for the character I built in the game. Maybe you're not a role player and you just want to listen to your friends and go out and get an arrow and just kill everything. You're going to have a harder time making the money than I can here in an hour and a half. Maybe if you do it with your friends and you just hang out and you're getting real bounties because there are a lot of people that are making mistakes in the verse or outright just evil trying to become pirates. And when they do anything negative, they go red and the saying goes, if they're red, they're dead, and for every one of those red, real players you kill, there's going to be a large bounty that you're going to get for them. But I find doing the box missions early on in the game to be the most rewarding, and the reason why I say that is there's a lot of bugs in the game, and I had a few. You're going to see one in tomorrow's video. and. I've lost whole freighter, you know, my, my freelance are filled with things and, and cried a little bit because I had 20k locked up in it. And when you're really early on in the game, 20k hurts just as bad as a million four hurts later on if you lose a full, let's say a full caterpillar filled with Laranite. It's all relevant to how much you have. So. I want you to think. I want you to think about what you want to do in the verse, but don't fall for people telling you you have to buy a ship. Pledge if you want to. Support the game. Give CIG the funds that it's going to need to make this game come out. But don't feel pressured to get something that, e A, maybe you don't have the money to buy, or B, don't really feel like buying. So the hardest part of doing these missions is going to be when you finally get to a planet where you're dropping it off you're not going to be able to quick jump to you're just not going to be able to and you're going to see a number in your hud that says 500 600 kilometers to that only in the first pickup do you have to actually fly that distance because there's really nothing around orinth for you to quick jump to and then to turn your, your sights on Orinth and get there a little bit quicker. But every single one of these other drop-off points has something close enough to it, because moons are a lot smaller than planets, that will reduce that initial shocking number that you have to fly to a much more manageable number. I was super excited to have figured this out on my own. But after looking in YouTube, this is not mine. This has been around for a while. Maybe the one I put up tomorrow will be mine. There's just no name for this right now. I'm going to call it the 90k box run. And I'm, I'm just going to push that all the time. Every day you start in the verse, the first time you log in, do the 90k ver uh, box run. If you want to do it twice though, you're going to have to log out and you're going to have to log back in again. It's just the way it's going to go. You're going to have to log out and log in. 
And the reason for that is that you're only allowed to do these missions once. Because these missions really are set up for those people that want a more nefarious career as drug runners. You're not running drugs in these missions. You're pretty much providing them with resources to make the drugs. You're providing them with supplies to keep them alive. I, I don't know. There's something called human food bars that you move. And I'm not sure if it's food for them to live on or Soylent Green. Regardless, 15,388. That's what you're getting for it. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. I am so happy that this is in there. That CIG has increased the amount of money that you get for doing these missions. But they're not the only missions to do. There are now $8,900 box missions or 8,900 UEC missions that you could pick up and get done. And those are going to be... Well, if you could stack those up, you could probably get enough of them done, 10 of them, in the same amount of time. And you could probably do it well enough that you're going all to the same place if you have the patience and you read through in all of the missions that are available. The best place to do this in is in Crusader. I'm telling you that right now. Maybe because Kovalex is there, I'm not sure. But that's for tomorrow's video. So why I'm telling you this today is because I know you're going to be enticed. I know you're going to want that beautiful, shiny new ship. But I want you to look at the prices, and I'm going to bring up just one of them, because... And, and I'm, going to, I'm going to go back a little bit. I'm going to say the reason I'm saying this is because I have two accounts. Obviously, I have Batgirl. Batgirl is my main account. I have a lot of ships. I have a Carrick, a Polaris, a Hammerhead, a Constellation. I have a lot of ships. I mean, when I look at it, I have a number of fighters that I never even fly. And one of the things that I look at is I have my Auroras. I have my 300s. And when I'm on my Batgirl account, I wind up flying my 315P all the time. A great starter ship. Not the best. The um, Avenger Titan is. But I don't want you to have to get the best. I just want you to get one that could work for you that you like the look at of. Some people love the look of the 300. Some people love the look of the Avenger. Some people like the look of something like the Reliant Core. What I'm going to tell you is, it doesn't matter what you get, just don't get the Reliant Core because it doesn't have the range to do this. But if you get the Avenger, if you get the 300, if you get the Pisces, whichever one of those three, the Aurora, if you get that, I, I want you to think of it this way. I have all those ships that are on Batgirl, and I'm playing on Cosmic Cat. This is Cosmic Cat. Because I have more fun here. I have purpose here. I have reward here. And I have a newfound love for the game here. So this is Damar. I skipped one of the deliveries on Yella. And at the end of this, we made that number. Let's go over it again. I'm going to look at it right now, one more time. And that number is 92,328 UEC. Now by itself, that's enough money to start upgrading any of your starter ships. Buy a, heat, a cooler, buy a new power plant, buy some weapons, you might need to do two runs. But let's say you go to Teach's over in Levski. So Teach's Ship Shop, I hate that they do those stupid tongue twisters, is listing one of the best ships in the game early on for 1,385,300 UEC. That's a cutlass black. You'd only have to do this 15 times to get that ship. Time invested. Now there's many of you that don't want to invest the time, so you're going to donate, pledge to the cause, and you're going to get that ship. And I support that. I support that wholeheartedly. I think that would be wonderful. But if you just want to get that $45 Aurora 15 times and you're in a Cutlass Black. Not to mention, you already have that free freelancer that they gave you. I think this is wonderful. And I'm not telling people to stop pledging for Star Citizen. That's not what this is about. I'm telling you 
There's ways to make money in the game to get those ships. Money and ships and equipment, your upgrades are all persistent now. Get in the game and play, get in the game and make the money, and get in the game and buy the ships there. Continue to support CIG by subscribing to become in a, a, a I, get, I forget what they are, I just know I'm an Imperator. Support the game by buying ships and skins and in-game merchandise. Support the game any way that you want. Be a Legatus, be someone that all you've ever done is bought the original starter ship. Wherever you are on that map, I thank you for helping my game get made. But I don't want anybody else that comes into this game for the first time to look at the thousands of dollars of ships that you could purchase, to look at some packages that have prices on it that make your eyeballs pop out and think that's what this game is about. You don't need to do that. You can call this game pay to win if you want to. I, I'm not going to challenge anyone on that. But what I am going to challenge you on is don't tell people what they have to get. Show them the ships that will work for them. Show them the ships that actually are going to be fun to play. Show them the ships that they can do this 90k box run in. And let them buy the ship that they look at and they just drool over. I've been watching Cobra TV lately. And from the beginning, that excitement that he had, that that awe, that wonder that he and his wife had the first time that they got into the game, it, it, it's built the fire in me to love this game again. And I want everybody to have that. You don't need to spend money on ships if you don't want to. Pledge for the game as much as you want, but don't let anybody tell you what you need to buy. I'm going to do a lot of videos like this as I start to find new ways to make money in the game. The first few are going to be based around what I'm doing in the game right now, which is box running, because I'm early in the game. That should be moving probably in a week or two, maybe three, to a little bit of bounty hunting, and maybe after that to a little bit of running cargo. But there's going to be a lot more that you can do. I want people to know that there's bunker missions, and there's investigation missions, and there's maintenance missions, and there's mercenary missions. There's a call to arms if you wind up in an NPC firefight and you can get a number of ships that you can destroy, you're going to make money from it. And of course, there's always those evil red dudes, live players, that if you kill them, you can get 10, 20, 30,000 UEC just from enacting a citizen's arrest or a citizen's kill in that case. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button below. It will really help my, my channel grow again. Please tell your friends, whatever you want to do, I want to get my numbers back up again. And that's up to me to deliver you content that's really engaging. If you are a subscriber, click that bell-shaped notification icon so you get notified of all my future videos. And I want to thank all my wonderful patrons because without you, this wonderful office that I'm slowly getting together Audio will be better in a week or two as I start to complete my wall over here and get the noise-canceling tiles on it, and that's because of you. If you want to help me out and become a patron, go to patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, dot com forward slash Batgirl. There should be a link somewhere in here, a card that comes up, and at the very end of this video, there'll be another link near some other videos that you could watch. And with that said, folks, you all be safe out there, and I will talk to you soon.